Hi everyone. I just realized it was getting kind of late and I hadn't done a video yet. But there's really not a whole lot to video either. <laughs> the kids have played outside and hung out in the house and just been as ornery and playful as they could possibly be. Now they're just all lazy. I was, <clears throat> I was caught up sewing and uh, forgot about doing a video until just now. But they're being really good. It was crazy a little while ago. I had a friend who uh, still has no power due to the storms and she wanted to come over and put some stuff in our deep freeze. So I said, okay, and she got here while I was in the sewing room, <laughs> Sheba, and the dogs were all in the living room. And once again, this little door latch wasn't pulled all the way to. And when she walked up on the front porch, they all ran out the door, everybody except for Joey. I had six Bostons ran out the door they were like a school of fish, all grouped together, and they ran two houses down, ran around the house down the road two or three times, freaked out my neighbors who were out in their yard. <laughs> my girlfriend, she grabbed one of my fly swatters, <laughs> and she went out and was hollering at them and telling them to get in the house. I was trying to find my shoes so I could run out and get them back in the house. And they were just running around that neighbor's house down there. And they stayed together the whole time. It just reminded me of a school of fish. Uh, but by the time I got out there and I started hollering, you better get in the house. You better come on and get in the house. Boy, they all came running and I just opened up the door and they come running right in. <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys have ever had to deal with a runaway dog. I had two Bostons before. I don't have those dogs now. They've retired and been rehomed. But there was a male and a female. And any time they could slip past me at the door, they would. And they would take off running. Oh, mostly just in that field across over there which is really a huge field but there was no way i could catch them or nobody could catch them <laughs> they would be running so fast and they would just run until they got tired enough they would come back to me i would always stand out here and keep my eyes on them and i'd step in the street if a car was coming so that they couldn't run out in front of them but uh, uh, they always made me very nervous that there was a good way that one could get hit by a car. In this pack, I have had zero problems with any of them getting out until this past week. And now they've been out twice and they've gone as a group. And when they go, I'm telling you, they shoot like a cannon and just run as fast and as hard as they can. I'm grateful I live in a pretty calm, quiet neighborhood. It's a dead end street. And uh, we do have a lot of traffic, but it is pretty much slow traffic. We have groundhogs and raccoons and tons of squirrels that are always darting across the street. But uh, for the most part, the traffic goes slow. Sometimes, we'll get a speed demon coming around, but some of us will let them know they're driving too fast when they do that. But I still don't like my dogs to get out at all. It's always just a huge risk. And then of course, the neighborhood shepherd, I noticed he was out again today and came running down to my yard. It had some kids come chasing after him, trying to catch him. So, I don't know. Maybe it's the storms. Maybe, I don't know. It's just weird that 
it seems like dogs are just on the run lately. <laughs> like the jungle laying around in the backyard is not enough for them. They have to get out and, and look for ways to, to run off and get into trouble. But they did all come back in and they stayed together. That made me feel better. I guess there's safety in numbers, even if it's dogs. <laughs> Uh, it was funny, though, with my girlfriend with the fly swatter hollering at him, you get back in here. <laughs> uh, they were just crazy. They don't hear you when they're like that. But they're being good now. Sheba, I took her for a walk this morning. She, She's just so good. I don't have to put a harness on her. I did put a loose, loose leash around her neck just in case. Uh, somebody came up to us or something, I'd have something there. But for the most part, she walks off leash really well. But the rest of them, you got to get the harness. And then they fight me with putting that on. Uh, Delilah's getting better. Jericho will be still. He won't fight me, but, but he acts real uh, afraid until he starts walking and then he's okay. But the younger ones... Candy and Chloe, not at all. And I haven't even tried uh, Joey yet because he's not fully vaccinated. I like them to be fully vaccinated before they uh, touch down uh, anywhere besides my yard. I know what's in my yard for past uh, 15 years we've lived in this spot, so. And, uh, but anyway, it's just been a crazy kind of day. Time was getting away from me, and uh, uh, it's getting harder and harder to come up with something interesting to video. <laughs> they're either laying like this, or they're running 90 to nothing. So, uh, the next week, hopefully, we'll have the yard cleaned up again, and I can get the swimming pool going again, and the, the, at least the yard balls. Uh, that'll be something a little different. And hopefully within the next two weeks, I'll be able to uh, see signs that we're ready to start breeding again. So, but until then, I think my videos are pretty much boring. <laughs> it's not that the dogs are boring, it's just what they're doing is boring. <laughs> the dogs are actually pretty active and when they start doing something, I try to grab the camera, then they quit. So. But anyway, we're having a good sunshiny day and they're being really good now, now that they terrorized the neighborhood. So anyway, 